based on that bait. Late September Albion Montauk. Hi, Captain Mike Hogan here from Hoagie Lure Company. Today we're fishing the famed waters of Montauk, New York. It's very late September and it's Albi time. Today we're going to be fishing lightweight outfits, 20 pound test braid, 20 pound test floral leader, and the 5 8 ounce epoxy jig. Now we've heard there's squid and bay anchovies in the area, so the two colors we're going to focus on today are pink and olive. Skip it on the surface. Oh, there he goes. He got it. Yeah. That was cool. Reeling down on that fish. Swim me under the boat and put the tip. Change directions on me. Man, that was so much fun. Size Albi. Five eighths epoxy jig. So my favorite outfit for this fishery is the seven foot avid inshore rod paired with a 5000 series sustain. Now I choose the sustain over the Saragossa because it's a little lighter weight and balances um, very nicely with this outfit. And the line I'm using 20 pound test braid. In this case I have suffix and uh, Seago, Seagar Fluoro. And I always tie a little loop knot in front of the epoxy jigs. That little extra loop in, in, the, in the line creates a very natural wobble action with the epoxy jig. Now I'm going to skip this epoxy jig. With the light weight of the epoxy, you can really skip the bait. So I'm just going to skip it on the surface. The top water feeds are just awesome. When they get finicky like that, sometimes that skip technique is all the difference in the world. It looks like a fleeing bait fish. That's all it takes. Couple short twitches on the uh, rod tip. That bait sort of suspended in that position where the cast lands. When these, oh man, nice. That's the great thing about these epoxy jigs is uh, when the fish start separating in the schools, in the schools you can cast it, and they're not heavy like the lead jigs. You can twitch them, and they have a flutter as it drops. And this fish obviously like that presentation. Now sometimes in this situation when your fish runs to another boat that's drifting, you gotta put a little pressure on that fish to try to turn it. Now I'd like to take just a minute to talk about the gear we're using. This is a St. Croix, it's in their Avid series. It's a seven foot rod, medium heavy. It's just perfectly balanced with this sustained 5,000. Now, Compared to a Saragossa, which is a popular, also a popular high quality Shimano, the sustain's a little lighter and balances with these lighter seven foot rods. This makes for an excellent combo for a day of casting. These fish are just all over the bay anchovies. Thanks to one here. And this will be an easy one to release in the water. Hi. That is 
is a Montauk Albi on light tackle. So I'm going to have a tip pointed towards the water. It's a slow, medium to slow retrieve. That's my favorite way to fish these epoxies. Not only is it very effective for finicky albies, but it's just the coolest way to watch them hit. Now that fish just drilled it and is smoking the line, running down tide. Holy cow. That is awesome. So there you have it. My two favorite ways to fish these epoxy jigs. Tip down, then of course, with the tip up, just skipping those baits across the surface. So over there you have a considerate boat who's coming in, notice that we're hooked up, the fly guy's hooked up, so that boat was considerate in that he altered his course. That's nice to see, you don't always see that. So I was saying earlier that sometimes these topwater fish come in a little funny or they get foul hooked. I think that's the case with this one here. Yep. So he came up and crashed on that bait. These epoxy jigs come with come stock with treble hooks from VMC that are super sharp. Obviously super strong. Late September, Albion, Montauk. <laughs>